Yo, what's up, everybody? Oh, it's on. Hide your children on this one. So stuck up, arrogant. This is ACD, speaking of. Best cherish it. There's an adult channel. Only adults here. Bow. Other than a magazine cover of a TV. No, I sold more mixtapes than your CDs. You're waiting on your big break. Playing you can be me. It ain't made from a DC. Hold me low. I've been now around the globe. Like a god, how they treat me. Broads hit their knees, eyes closed when they greet me. Mouths open, open jet. Begging me to skip. Skin year in the deep sleep. Stop dreaming. I'm six hours in for ten years. I've been five hot steam. All right. Everything we say and do is under the banner of entertainment. You go into a rated R, rated X. No children allowed today. That's silly. You're responsible for your own condition by watching this right now. That's why it's for adults. And all that if you're still here this is an adult uh class right now we're going to do a little adult entertainment we're going to talk about some very adult matters i'm azd or rise up our motherfucking deep bizarre let everybody know your favorite bad boy on the web is here okay let's get started oh my god i got a lot of inspiration today i could literally just grab it out of the air right now is that here wrong can you turn it off for this please let's see well i do want to talk about something and this is uh man this is a big deal to you this is a big deal to you. You know, how how long are you going to go allowing people to abuse you? It's a good question. How long are you going to go and allow people to abuse you, motherfucker? Huh? How long are you going to go allowing people to abuse you? Okay, that could be physically, that could be mentally. And both of those are valid. As I was teaching the woman yesterday, I was teaching my woman yesterday, I said, would you allow a man to walk up and just grab your tits or grab your ass without you going after them and just punishing the fuck out of them? Well, you better. Yeah. It's the same thing when someone tries to grope your mind and grope your emotions without care and without consent. People think they can just come around and say things because, hey, that's just how I feel about it. Shut the fuck up. How about you keep that to yourself next time? Huh? Did you catch me on your door knocking saying, hey, how do you feel about that? No? Oh, you just thought you could say that because my ears don't have a fucking plug on them? Listen, motherfucker, be a little bit more responsible with your communication around me. Okay? Why? Not because you're going to hurt me, but because you're about to get hurt. That's the difference. Okay? Because I'm that motherfucker that'll put it back into your face. If you're going to communicate, you have a very big responsibility. You and I are creating our world with our words. Okay? So if I'm sharing my world with you, pay close attention, motherfucker, man or woman. Don't come around with your limitations and weaknesses and make them mine because I don't have those. I don't have those. I don't have those doubts. I don't have those insecurities. I don't have any of that shit. I handle my business every motherfucking day between 2 a.m. and 8, 10 a.m. Believe me, AZD will take care of himself. I'm never going to put it on you. My garbage is my garbage, not yours. This is our process called the beast. 
IMC warrior fighting monks all across the world. Add this to it. Shapeshifters. Shapeshifters. You don't know that, do you? What's a shapeshifter? Look at my skin. It's a little tight right now because I just have to tighten it for you. But I'll loosen it up later when it's looser. And you'll see what a shapeshifter is, okay? It's like made of clay. It's, it's molded. Can you do that to your face, huh? Can you do that to your face? You should. I don't know if you can. You should try it. You should see why I don't tighten it. I tighten it right before class, okay? But a shapeshifter is one who can shape shift. And I teach that. Yes, I do. Now, I'm either that guy who's just completely lost it and just gone off the ed edge because I've done so many psychedelics, or I'm not. And since I haven't done that much psychedelics, I've done a few now, it's not that. And how can we measure a man's sanity? By the products around him and by the people around him. Learn that right now. That's in class today. I'm teaching class today and promoting myself. How do you measure a man's sanity? By the quality of the products around him and how the people around him are doing. Insane people, people around them are not doing well. They're not doing well. They're just not. And their, their environments aren't um, uh, going up. They're not doing better in life. That's insanity. That's crazy. You see them across the street. Bad people, what you'll find is whatever they touch, something breaks. They can't make anything go right. But when you find a person who whatever they touch turns into gold and goes up higher and higher and higher, and when you see that their condition and you see they're saying, believe me, you got your hands on a real good motherfucker, and that's me and the people that follow me. That's IMC Nation. Now you're going to find us on Instagram at AZD, that's me, Arise of Party Bazaar, IMC, that's Integrated Martial Arts Concepts, 408, that's the area code for San Jose, Nor Cal, Northern California. Locate me now. Okay, you go add, you, you uh, send message, I'll message you back. I always do. Okay, I always do. And then if you're a man, you want to be on the lines then, but let me, let me talk a little bit more because I've taken a little bit of time doing that. So let me go forward. How long are you going to allow people to abuse you? Now, abuse doesn't actually come from the enemy. It comes from friends and family. Yep, that's what I'm talking about. It comes from relationships. If you're a man and you've been married for a long time, right? And that hag, that wench, that disgusting... Okay, it's about to shut off when I say that. <laughs> How funny. Okay, hold on. Let me plug this in to make sure we don't get interrupted unnecessarily. You come out. These plugs. Oh, my God. Don't worry. I'm back. I'm right here. Uh, that's like the DJ when the music stops, right? That's that. There we go. Let's plug this in because it's going to die. If you're a man and you are living with a wench, a witch, uh, a woman that's just destroying that work. Yep. A woman that's just completely been sucking your life from you. Right. And you're just now tired of life and you're just like had it. And you look at that bitch every fucking day looking like a man, smelling like trash, acting like garbage. Right. And you never had a voice. I'm your voice. It's time to tell that bitch goodbye. Okay. We are Stoics. We come from Stoicism. Our ancestors are Marcus Aurelius, Epictetus, Seneca, and a bunch of other motherfuckers like that. But we're the upgrade of them. And let me teach you something from them. They say that life, everybody has two lives. Every man has two lives. And the second one starts when you realize you just have this life. Get that through your fucking skull, my brother. Wake the fuck up. Okay? You're being emotionally and mentally abused. Trust me on that one, okay? And you need to step the fuck out of that. You don't know anybody that bullshit. The first thing that a person must do is take a look around them and say, who is mentally and emotionally laying a hand on my, my, my mind, touching my mind? That's why you shouldn't just go and listen to everything. I don't watch the fucking news. Why would I do that? That's the bad guys. The bad guys are broadcasting every single day through their TV. We don't have, we have a TV, but we don't use it. We use it for like YouTube whenever opportunity arises. The broadcast is by the enemy. People that don't like you. The radio is by the enemy. We don't listen to the radio. Everything you're hearing, everything you're seeing is, is, is manipulating your mind so that you become a sheep. <clears throat> and if you're listening to me, you're probably not a sheep, right? You're, you're woke to some degree or you're waking up. Now, if you're in this category, what do you got to do next? The next thing you have to do is you immediately got to start fencing off your territory. And I'm talking about internally, mentally. 
You have to immediately align your values. What are you all about? Are you, are you about that shit? Are you okay with your woman going around looking like garbage or looking like a whore, giving attention to other men and not to you, making fun of you publicly? Are you okay with your woman doing that? I know your women do that. How about this? Hey, listen, brother. Are you okay with not having a woman for the last five years? Three years? Two years? One year? Is that, are you really that wrong in life? Huh? Are you that fucking dumb and stupid and fucked up that no woman will like you? Or maybe, just maybe, the odds are stacked against you. And I know those odds. And we play them and we win. That's the lion's den. Arajzapar.com. $97 a month. Now, if you're a loser, that's not a place for you. Okay? No, I'm talking about to the motherfucker who's sitting there going, God, I feel everything he says. I feel everything he says. I feel everything he says. What do I do? You goddamn show up to class at 10 a.m. today I'm teaching. Be amongst the greatest men. You want to know who they are? Go look at my Instagram. Look at 2 a.m. check-in. Look under that. Click any of those guys. Click any of those guys. I stand by them. Watch. Tell me if you, know, tell me if you have a better friend than an IMC warrior monk. Tell me if you have a better friend in the world. No, you don't actually. You actually don't. Okay? And that's the next step. The next step is none of you belong to any tribes. And if you belong to a tribe or you belong to a gang or you belong to a team, inside that tribe, inside that gang, inside that team, you're killing each other. Mexicans kill Mexicans. Blacks kill blacks. White kill, kills white. Man kills man. You want to kill something? Go into the jungle and let's engage with some of those beasts. Let's get together and go engage with some beasts. You don't need to kill your brother unless he tries to take your life. Right? If he hits this hand or if he hits this face, don't turn around. Smash his other side of the face. Break his hand so he doesn't do that again because you may be able to take it, but he's going to go do that to other people. That's why you don't turn the cheek. Because somebody is going around hitting you when you don't deserve it. So make sure they earn their karma. Hit them in a way where they would never hit somebody again. Because you could take it and I could take it, but that person can't take it. Your fucking 78-year-old father walking down the street, coming across two punks walking down the street, you know, bullying him. Or your uncle, your fucking so-and-so with your little stance rolling around trying to sell fruit and then walking around and punking them. That's not okay, is it? So someone should have stopped those motherfuckers on the way up. They should know if you raise a hand, 10 hands gets raised on you, stupid motherfucker. Everybody should know that. Everybody should know that good people can stand up for themselves. Now, this is a video blog just to wake you up. It's quick. And it just comes down to this. Just like you clean your house every day or every week or whatever the fuck you spend time, you clean your environment, right? You must clean your environment mentally also and emotionally also. Why do you keep people around that are toxic to you? Now, some of them are not bad people. They're just bad communicators. Well, guess what? Now you're going to have to engage with that person in a way so that they're no longer affecting you negatively. Because I just cannot see for the fucking life of me why I would have to go through my morning till night, do everything I can to be the ethical, honorable man that I am, and allow another individual's actions to bring me down. Sorry, no. It ain't gonna happen. And when it does, I'll self-correct faster than a fucking fuse will let a fucking light go. Trust me. Okay, I value myself very much. And this is a video blog to tell you to value yourself and value the people who value you. You know how difficult it is to find one goddamn person that's down for you in this life? Huh? Are you struggling with that? I'm not, just so you know, but I know how you feel. I know what it's like that you have no support. I have a tremendous amount of support. Beyond what you could even imagine. I don't even call on the support. But do you know what? I created that. I wasn't born into that. I created that. I was born into the same shit you were born into. Just a different version of a different toilet bowl. Same shit, man. But I created that. I created my reality, my universe. What you read about in these metaphysical books, I've been living it for over 20 years now. And that's what you're seeing. And now that I'm coming out of the closet, I knew he was gay. Your mom's gay. That's not what I'm talking about. As I'm coming out of the closet with the information and the knowledge, 
You must know something. Now it's too late to undo me. You understand that? You suspected it. You were wonder, wondering about it. You were hoping it wasn't real. But goddamn motherfucker, this is more real than you could ever imagine. Everything you've ever read about, yes, it's happening actually. It's happening under the banner of IMC Nation worldwide. I'm not the only one, motherfucker. And that's why I can come out of the closet now. If you're going to find me, go. Go and find me amongst the beasts. There's a lot of them. I'm safe inside the beasts. Do you understand the difference? I didn't have to go amongst the sheep, run away from the beasts. No, I went around recruiting beasts and showing them the power that I have and granting them the knowledge that I have and the gift that I have so that they would really turn into some fucking beast. Because I knew, I knew that you could trust a good man. And at a time when the world has been telling you, trust no one, I'm telling you, trust people. I trust people. At a time when they're telling you, hey, it's all about number one. I'm saying number one will take care of number one. It's time to take care of number two and three and four. Yeah, that's my message. It's been my message. But now <laughs> you can't even shut your ears to it if you tried. You see, somebody you know knows me now. Somebody you know knows me now. And the failure of the next hater that says, that's not true. It's okay. You're the one who knows me now. Do you understand? Either you know me or someone you know knows me. End of story. You can't prove me wrong. The math won't work if you tried it. It's a puzzle unsolvable. Because you're going to have to have someone who doesn't know me and go tell them about me. And then I'm right again. Okay? But all you need to know is that the bills are paid every month because somebody knows me and supports this knowledge. Do you get that? Every single dollar in my pocket is because I have spoken a word. Nothing else. I don't sell a computer. I don't sell a car. I don't sell cocaine. What I sell is my words, my mind. And they transform people. I'm a master of change. I'm the highest level alchemist on earth. Prove me wrong. Find somebody else who can do it. You don't even have one person who can do it, actually. Not one exists yet. Not one exists who can understand that fucking art, okay? Alchemy. You get it? That's what's been going on over here. Now the proof is everywhere. The Philosopher's Stone is here, motherfucker. It's been here. And now I've been handing it out and giving people pa, pa, pa. And they're changing. Go look at them. AZD, IMC, 408, NorCal. Look at them. You, you test them. Test them. Don't just test me. I mean, you can test me, but it's not a test anymore. All the tests have been passed for me to be here now. Now it's my students' turns. Now it's to unleash the beasts into the wild, into the world. Your world is about to get some real beasts coming up. Phase two of what we do. Phase one, they prepared. I don't think you could break them. I know you can't actually. Phase two, you're going to have to face them now. So join the team, motherfucker. Because if you're a good person, we got a spot for you. It's going to require your heart and your soul. And $97 a month. That's it. Now, there will be programs that you're going to have to pay more and more and more just like anything else. But you actually don't have to. $97 a month will get you on the team. Period. Okay? Simple. Yeah. Now, the cool thing is, whether you do it or not, this thing continues. And then you're going to run into it. And it's like the old saying. See, somebody is training harder than you in what you do. Whatever that is. And you're going to know who they are when you face them one day. And they're going to beat you. And they're going to beat you easily. That's because while you were being a lazy fuck, they were training on what you wanted. Okay, welcome to what the beast is. One day you're going to run into an IMC Nation beast. A warrior monk. And I hope for you that he is your friend. Because if he's your friend, you couldn't have a better friend. But if he's not, then you're going to, you're going to lose your girl. You're going to lose your girl. You're going to lose your business. Because what he wants, he'll get from you. Using his intelligence, his communication, and techniques of ancient times that you cannot stop. If you could, you would have stopped me a long time ago. You understand? That's what's going on. And the women, my God, you have no idea. Talk about beautiful women. Come to IMC Nation, baby. Oh, we're here to take it all the way to the very top, motherfucker. All the way to the very top. We're going to make your celebrity women look like trash. Because they are, actually. I'm just going to expose it. See, all you got to do is shine the light. I don't got to do anything besides show you exactly what you've been looking at. Okay? But you've been looking at it wrong. You've been brainwashed. That's why they tell you that I'm brainwashing you. Whoever is telling you that, 
once you're brainwashed. And they think you're stupid as hell to tell you that, by the way. <laughs> they think they're smarter than you. That always surprises the fuck out of me. Anyways, let's wrap this up. You find me at Araj Zapar, Z-E-P-A-R dot com. That's where you have the lion's den, okay? It's 97 bucks a month. We meet every single day at 10 a.m. California time, Pacific Standard Time, or Pacific whatever. Um, then on Instagram, it's free. You don't get charged. And my profile is on, um, it's not on private, okay? So you can go. And go look. I left a hater's comment on yesterday, okay? And what do you find in haters? A profile with a no name, no, no picture, no, nothing. A profile made just to hate on me. You understand that? Which clues me in, it's somebody that I know or someone that knows of me insincerely and doesn't have any, any, kind of, any kind of courage. That in itself must be observed. You see that? So I leave the comments on. It's beautiful. Take a look at it. And it's always nicer when somebody else attacks them, like on YouTube, it happened the other day. Someone's like, bro, you're a little kid or what? Right? I saw that. I saw that. It shows up. I read the first like two or three sentences. So if you have something really negative to say, keep it in the first three sentences because it shows up on my phone, but I just don't click it all the time. Okay? It's a pleasure for me to be here. It's a goddamn pleasure for me to be here because I don't do nothing without pleasure. Right? I love being here doing what I do and I'm here to do my job and I'm going to do it better than anything you've ever seen before. This is IMC Nation. This is be the best. This is fuck the rest. See you in the next one.